Hey everyone, it is, hang on, I'm not used to big balls in my face. It's Christmas time, it's time to put your fat pants on and today we are cooking the best, and I mean the best, Christmas ham you have ever made. Let's get started. So we're outside on the grilling deck and we are going to be firing up this beautiful American made Kamado grill, the Primo round Kamado. So we're going to bring this baby up to 275 to get this amazing premium ham cooked to perfection. <laughs> Now, you already know that we are going low and slow. We got some royal oak charcoal. We're gonna get our heat deflector plate in here, just like that. And then we're gonna get the beautiful Primo rack, stick it on top, and we're gonna open the bottom damper to one, and we're gonna open the top damper to one. And we're just gonna leave it there. That should bring it to right about 250, 275. And believe it or not, we can go above 225 when you're cooking low and slow. Let's hop in the kitchen and check out this beautiful ham. This is our beautiful ham. Now, for this cook, I went with just a boneless, already cold smoked, hickory cold smoked ham. I got it at the grocery store. You can pick it up. We're packing this baby with two types of flavor today. The first one, some Honey Chipotle Killer Bee by, you get it, Cosmo Q. The guy that kind of looks like Larry the Cable Guy, but is the king of barbecue. And we are going to just liberally kind of put this on there. You want to get it everywhere. On the skin, you can take the skin off, you can put the skin on, leave the fat on, leave the fat off. You do you, it, it's barbecue. It doesn't really matter what you decide to do. So we're going to cover this up, pat it in good. And I'm not using a binder either. No mustard binder, nothing like that. Just pure flavor. And next we're going with Dirty Bird. Now, I know it says Dirty Bird, and you're thinking, well, it's only good for anything foul, uh, turkey, and no. This stuff goes on pretty much everything. It's a great AP rub. And we're gonna cover that on top, and again, be liberal with it. This is the finished product, this beautiful, flavorful ham. We're gonna slap this on the Primo when it comes up to 275, and we're gonna be smoking this to an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Or for all you uh, metric system people, that's 60 degrees Celsius. I didn't know that, I had to get it from Alexa. And to make sure that we're gonna come up to the right temperature, we have to use our wireless thermometer by Yumly, and we're just gonna stick it in until it goes into the middle, which is where we want the 140. Now, let's put this ham on the smoker. And then, we're gonna let that baby sit until it reaches that internal temp of 140 degrees. Oh shit, how long did this take? Two hours maybe? This is a little squirrel. When we put the ham on, it was partially frozen, about 33 degrees. So uh, it's been about two hours to smoke a ham, but look, honestly, a ham is, you can't mess it up. All you do is heating it up. We added some flavor to it that's gonna give it a whole nother level, but this thing's done. Take a look at it. Beautiful, nice crust on there. This is gonna have some amazing flavor. So let's hop back into our gourmet chef's kitchen probably more expensive than you have in your house. That's not true at all. And uh, we're gonna cut into this baby. Welcome back to my chef's kitchen, which is better than Gordon Ramsay's. We are gonna kick this up with another level of flavor, like a whole nother level. We got the maple bourbon rib glaze here by Cosmo Q. We're gonna take this thing off 
and we're gonna pour that baby on. I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. This glaze looks awesome and smells awesome. Now we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna slice right into this bad boy. Woo! That is super moist. Super tender. Look at that color. Amazing. Now, I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna add a dip of that rib glaze. Here we go. Holy crap. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Going for seconds. Mmm. I'm gonna wipe my hands. And then you're trying. Put it on me. So, we're gonna switch positions here, and the beauty behind the camera, the one that makes all of this possible, and I'm sorry guys, she's taken, but she's also wearing this amazing, ugly Christmas sweater. Like, she's not ugly, but that is hideous, good God. <laughs> okay, so you can either take from the pile here or from the bite I took, there we go. She's taking a small bite, she's a pansy. The barbecue cheese. That is a large bite. Put my meat in your mouth. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. How good? It's really good. It's ham. Yeah, yeah, but like on a scale of one to ten. Don't lie. We don't lie on this channel. It's an eleven. It's an eleven. She's bullshitting. But that's okay. Because I'm going to take this ham, and I've got ham sandwiches for a week now. This is going to be amazing. This is how to make the perfect Christmas ham. So easy. All you're doing is adding some spices, reheating it up. I'm Mark Ashby of Grill Mark Co. Make sure you eat well, and you do well. Cheers. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. Tell everybody your name. Cooper. Cooper, how old are you? Seven. Seven? God, I thought you were four. Okay, you wanna try the ham? Mm -hmm. All right, here you go. You're our most adventurous eater, what do you think? Good? Is that, on a scale of one to 100, how good is it? One octillion. One octillion. Tell everybody your name. Um, I'm Carson. And how old are you? I'm nine. You're nine. Say, hey, world. Hey, world. <laughs> okay. You want to try the ham? All right, there you go. What do you think? I'm going to finish the whole thing first. Okay, finish the whole thing. Eating like a fish. Good. Good? On scale of one to a hundred, how good is it? All the way, like, higher than a hundred. Higher than a hundred? Wow. Thank you, buddy. I love Almost you. Almost like a thousand. A thousand? Whoa! Tell everybody your name. Presley. Presley, how old are you? Five. You're five. Right, you wanna try the ham? Here you go, try a bite. Do you like it? On a scale of one to a hundred, how good is it? 100 is the best. 100. You like it 100? You like daddy's cooking? All right, guess what? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. And this is our oldest, he is 12, is that right? 12, 11, 35, I don't know. You can tell he is, oh yeah, there he is. He's chomping at the bit here. But he can't really answer any questions, but we're just gonna make him, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right, get it. <laughs> Not very graceful in his old age, but he likes it too.